Hello Punters, welcome back to BSB ZA and today I'm going to be running through the new Big Bass Crash game uh, as well as explaining how it works and that kind of thing. If you're a fan of Crash games like Aviator, you're probably going to be very familiar with how the game works. Basically, it starts at a multiplier of zero, but it's displayed as 1.00 and then the man throws a fishing net over the boat or a pit over there and the longer it goes on for the higher the multiplier increases uh, which increases your winnings and you can cash out at any time before it crashes before the net breaks now is it better than aviator no it's not i'm going to get that out the way first of all there's a couple of reasons for it um, before we get into all of that i do want to run through some of the mechanics of the game and explain why I, where, where they can make improvements where i think they have done things right to that kind of thing firstly the one thing i do want to say they've got a 50 percent cash out which is very cool it allows you to cash out 50 percent of your bets during the round but at the same time that almost is like a second box it doesn't have the second box but it has a 50 percent cash out why not just give us two boxes instead of that but if you're playing with one box it does give you a, a nice kind of option to cash out half of it if you're if you're only playing one bet which is nice which i suppose all in all, it's probably better than having two boxes uh, or two different bets on at the same time. But yeah, let's just run through some of the things. We've got all the players that are playing the game right now over here. We do have a live chat that you can see. I don't think that people are very much English. <laughs> there are a lot of foreign people on here. I did say Lacabru. No one responded to me. That was a while ago. It's not as active as the aviator chat, but at the same time, it's not toxic. It's not annoying. There's no spammers in there. So that is one of the advantages. And I think the more uh, places that get this game, there's going to be more people in chat. There's going to be more players. At the moment, there's only 240 players. So not all that many compared to Aviator. Uh, what you also have is you have got some nice statistics. You can go back up to 500 rounds in the past. But that also comes with a problem because you can't actually filter these results. So I can't see when the last big wins were. And that's the nice thing about aviators you can actually kind of segment the wins by day week month multiplier biggest win amounts all of those things which i think is very cool it shows the user there um, and that's something that this game is missing as well you also have the dreaded flew away or crashed at 1.00 in this one you've got a percentage chart which i think is very cool this is something that i think aviator could uh, use on its game so it shows the percentages of the different rounds on you know like what your cash out could have been or what what the multiplier was on this on those rounds you can see that the, the most common one is that 1.01 1 .01 to 199 and then we have 2 to 599 and then you know lower down the scale 5000 times there's nothing there uh, 101 to 5000 is 1.6 percent so it's pretty cool to play around with that and it's nice to see but we don't have the option to filter it and that's a bit of a bummer so you've got lots of cool stats you can see far in the past but it's not that easy to see that far in the past you have to scroll down and every time a round finishes it resets your kind of scrolling which is very very annoying Ooh, i thought i saw 13k there but no i was mistaken um, so i did pick up that big win it was uh, I'll, I'll, I'll clip it at the end of this video uh, i'm really annoyed with that the microphone wasn't working mm, that was quite annoying but yeah, guys, that's that's big bass crash for you. It starts at one random bet. It's available on Hollywood Bets. You've got autoplay. You've got double your stake. Um, there's a couple of different things that you have that you don't have on Aviator. So, I mean, this is going to be a game that I'm going to rank lower than Aviator in the grand scheme of things. But uh, otherwise, it's pretty decent. Um, I don't think I'm going to be playing it all that often. If I do play something, it's probably going to be Aviator. But anyway, let me know what you think of a big bass crash in the comments below. I don't think I've missed out anything. When it comes to the gameplay um i've been playing it for a little bit now but yeah guys let me know what you think in the comments below and stay tuned for that clip there's no there's no sound on it unfortunately as i said the mic wasn't working but i did pick up that lacquer win anyway have a good one cheers